obviously it's very big in, uh, in college just because of riding time and you know but honestly this is where you really can break a guy uh, break a guy's spirit you gotta keep standing up you keep Matt returning Matt returning him I mean it really that's where you kind of break him uh, so the first one I'll just show you guys <coughs> my standard Matt return this guy gets up to his feet okay the way I like to get my hands locked is just I like doing like a butterfly grip just like a gut wrench okay so I get my, my gut wrench right here okay I don't like this I don't know, just for me personally I just don't feel like I can get this tight enough, okay, if I do this kind of grip. Where here, I grab and I'm squeezing. Now all I have to do is I just pick a side, okay? When I pick a side, I'm going to get nice big jump here, here, here. When I touch my front foot, I'm popping my hips, all right? So I'm dropping my legs, squatting, popping my hips here, and then right forward. So what my goal is, is I need to get his hips above his shoulders, and then I'm going to spike his hands into the mat. I want to get his hand to his elbow so I can get that single wrist and get him broken down in his belly. So he stands up, I get right to my butterfly grip right here, big step, okay? You can, you know, kind of move him around a little bit and then once you go, I want to, you know, best case scenario is I'm stepping right over his foot right here. Once I step, I pop, bring him forward, right to that wrist. Now I can, you know, if his hips are still up, I pull his hips down. I'm getting right to work. So to prevent him from just posting up on you, just kind of letting you very, you really got to drive him in hard. So you know what? And, and a lot of our guys are saying, oh, what? You know, you actually have to get some distance. So if I just picked him up, if I just popped here and picked him straight, see how he can post and land right in his base? Right. So what I do is I get, when I step, so when I step forward, I'm bringing him forward a little bit. Okay? So I actually kind of, when I step, I kind of do like one shuffle step, get those hips, drive those hands right over there. Uh, the next, uh, uh, the good one I actually do, I do a lot too, now come If this guy's blocking my knees, okay? So I'm here, this guy's blocking my knee. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get to my high crotch side. And I'm gonna drop my high crotch hand right into his, uh, right down his leg. What I need to do is I can't, I still can't do it if I'm like this, because he's still blocking my knee. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my shoulder here. And this hand is really important because it keeps my balance. I'm pulling pretty hard on that far hip. So I'm here, he blocks my knee, here. All right, see what, how, how far my legs are? Now I'm going to start driving, driving, boom. Right around. And I mean, obviously you guys finish right to a turn. I mean, that's how we're teaching our guys. So when I'm here, I can't get around, drop this front hand. Here, I start circling. Circle, circle, now I go. The biggest mistake guys do in this is they try and go back arm, okay? So when I'm here, they try and go here, and now this guy just gets his hips away. No, go cut down the mat. So here, okay? So when I get that front hand, I lock him in. And his first, you know, his, his first instinct is to turn in. That's exactly what I want him to do. Um, <coughs> Last one is tripod. Go down. Guy tripod stands. I've, we've, we're seeing this a lot in college. I think you guys are seeing it a lot in high school. Go back down real quick. So if I'm just here and this guy starts tripoding, right? So right here, I, I'm kind of losing the position. So what I want to do is I just keep pressure forward, but I'm actually going to allow him to walk his hands back. Let him walk your hands back. So once I get to the point where I know he's going to stand up, as he stands up, I'm dropping my hand down to his ankle here, and then the back hand comes up right to finishing. Here. So I'm pressuring, pressuring. He's getting it up. He's starting to come up to his feet. Once I feel him come up to his feet, go back down. Once I feel him come back up, go up to his feet, I'm going to release with my front hand down to his ankle. Back hand comes up, come all the way up. Here, right to my trip. What I don't want to do is I don't want to go two hands to it. I want you to kick that one again. <laughs> so when I'm here, okay, if I go two hands, he's going to kick out. So I actually need that, that seatbelt to hold him down, but I don't want to hold it. So if I hold on to the seatbelt too long, go ahead and throw a wizard. Here. I'll get caught here. So it's kind of like a one second. So it's, when I'm here, it's one, two, right up right up to my finish. Um, so those are the, the, the three basic ones I do with getting a guy down to the mat. 
I mean, and everything has to be down in his belly. Whenever I finish, I'm always, my philosophy, I want to get him broken down in his belly. Anything else? <laughs>